Друзья мои, безумно рад вас приветствовать. Это второй сезон рубрики Bar Skills в рамках Bartender School by Bacardi Martini. С вами Виталий Колпин, и мы продолжаем с вами изучать интересные движения, которые можно применить в баре. Но на этот раз я бы хотел с вами отправиться в разные точки мира, познакомиться с интересными, талантливыми, техничными ребятами, поспрашивать, как они делают то или иное движение, и я думаю, что они поделятся с нами главными секретами своего успеха. Ребят, я хочу вас познакомить с нашим первым гостем. Это Джулиан Лопес из бара Котер Бэй. Как вас зовут, Джулиан? Бьян. Бьян, спасибо. Я хочу представить вас для наших друзей. Просто расскажите немного о вашем опыте. Да, конечно. Я работаю в бар индустрии с 7 лет. Uh, I am from South of France mm -hmm. uh, after three meeting here in uh, Papa Doublet cocktail bar in Montpellier. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved to Paris to open a uh, Bay with uh, two wonderful ladies and, uh, mm -hmm. and now uh, we open to open we plan to open another place in mm -hmm. Marseille in South of France uh, this summer. So nice. it's nice. perfect yeah. Okay, back to the south, yeah? Exactly, back to the south. <laughs> nice. I wanted to ask you some questions which is not about the bar, but all about you and uh, your experience, okay? Yeah. Uh, do you have any hobbies? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm a big fan of sport, sport? Uh, especially basketball and uh, wakeboarding. Okay. Uh, but uh, maybe cricket, no? <laughs> maybe sometimes. So I'm a big fan of uh, finally everything uh, we can escape my mind mm -hmm. and um, I will like spend a lot of time uh, with my girlfriend and my, my friends and uh, so yeah so everything. Sport with your girlfriend? Sometimes. Yeah. Nice sport. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what inspires you uh, as a bartender, as a creator of drinks? Uh, for example, science and new technology uh, help me a lot in my creativity, uh, mm -hmm. day by day. And uh, I, I like to spend time with people, share experience, and uh, I really like to spend time with my team here at Copa Bay. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy when I come here to work, and so that's helped me, mm -hmm. yeah, day by day, definitely. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Um, and uh, some special signs or...? Uh, no, everything. Oh, uh, all yeah, the everything. Uh, uh, every discovery in the world, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's of course an inspiration. So, Interesting. Yeah. And one more question. What do you think, just in your opinion, what is the most important qualities about the bartender? Uh, for me today, to be a good bartender, you have yes, you have to uh, to have a lot of uh, quality, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, especially, you have to be strict uh, in your work. Uh, you have to love people, uh, love share your experience. Mm -hmm. um, no ego. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, continue to learn uh, with people around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, how uh, to love be, people? How to love people? Mm -hmm. In your opinion, be be you work with passion, uh -huh. and people give you passion too. So uh, that's the way to love people. It's to listen what people have to uh, to tell to you. I think, uh -huh. and uh, stay open. Okay. As we know, there are a lot of talented and uh, famous bartenders from France. So, what do you think? What is very mm, very unique about French bartending? Yeah, of course the. the the French scene of uh, cocktail is uh, growing up year by year, and uh, and I think we have uh, quality, uh, not every time, uh, but uh, especially the quality. It's a relationship between the, the food, the cooking, uh, and this culture in France. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, between food and, and the cocktail and the bar. So uh, today in France, uh, people uh, see a cooking chef. Mm -hmm. uh, that's exactly the same than uh, bar chef. So mm -hmm. um, we have a very good relation. 
with French products uh, like the wine, cognac, Calvados or Armagnac and uh, uh, we have a big culture of that in France. So I think we have a, a special palette. Uh, uh, it's uh, for me as French people for, for sure, but the balance is uh, not the same uh, uh, than USA for example. So. I think the, the Dutch, French Dutch, yes. Okay. And do you have some good friend who is a chef in sub kitchen? Yes, for sure. Uh, a lot, a lot. In French, we have a really uh, famous TV show. It's called mm -hmm. Top Chef. Okay. And so the chef in France become very famous after that. And so we have the chance to work um, through some brands with uh, with them. So it's really interesting. For example, I would like. Uh, Denis Broisy, mm -hmm. so it's his restaurant called Ida in Paris. Um, also, Yoni Sada opened another place really cool. So, these guys are very famous for TV show, but uh, stay human mm -hmm. and uh, it's very easy to share mm -hmm. uh, with these people. Today, we go to eat something in, in his restaurant, yeah? Yes, with pleasure. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have seen how you work and uh, you're really skillful bartender. What do you think? How your skills help you? Uh, so different thing. Uh, the most important it's uh, skill help uh, help the guests to keep focus on you, uh -huh. and the main point uh -huh. because uh, you mean your small moves and uh, all technical yeah, moves. Yeah? Just, just mm -hmm. small moves. So you have to give them the most beautiful experience of your guests, and uh, if you don't stop to work with the right and your left hand, uh, it's uh, it's win because uh, people stay at the bar. Uh, keep watching you and uh, spend a good time. Mm -hmm. So it's just one or two minutes, but it's it's look like very long for for them. So it's main point. Uh, second point for me, uh, skills help me to uh, to follow my, my my philosophy behind the bar. So uh, when I when I'm busy, I every time I'm, I'm follow uh, same ritual, same thing. Uh, I have a little tricks before, a big tricks after, and uh, yeah, it helped me to to to, to stay uh, in the good way mm -hmm. uh, when I when I busy or not. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, and for for that, and it's really cool also to 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 be to pass a funny time behind mm -hmm. the bar. So it's funny for us, and it's really cool and uh, expert for mm -hmm. people. So yeah. That's a, that's a good tip. Mm -hmm. um, it bring you some tips? Not too much, not too much. Don't bring, no, not really tips, because French people don't tip so much, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I think I, it bring me some more people at the bar. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you open the bar at six, uh, the bar is totally empty, okay. and you have two people, and people just want to sit at the bar in front of you. Because uh, a friend of them just just tell them, uh, oh, go to Copper Bay, uh, show the skills, and uh, stay at the bar. So finally, uh, yeah, finally bring money. And today I will be the first guest, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, okay, let's okay. go. You are now co-owner of this bar, and I want to ask, how did you reach this level? And also, I wanted to listen, and I think my friends also want to listen. What is your top secret as a professional bartender or as a good, good skillful bartender? Uh, of course, practice and practice again. Uh, but uh, you really have to enjoy when you when you do skills, and uh, first of all, you do skills for you for, for you, mm -hmm. and after for your guests. Mm -hmm. So try and try again. Uh, keep uh, keep do do things easier and look mm -hmm. easier. And do you practice every day just before work, or do you practice during the work? No, no, no. Uh, I don't practice every day. So before show when I was young, I practice maybe two or three years by day, mm -hmm. and uh, try to find some people who want to practice with you mm -hmm. and help. Uh, to to do new thing to do better. Um, top secret, top secret. Uh, stay straight. Uh, be symmetric. Uh, don't move right to left. And uh, 
and just do your move uh, easier. Mm -hmm. Julian, thank you so much for your answers. Mark. I really happy that I meet you and uh, you have a lot of skills, you have a lot of working skills. I wonder if you show us something and uh, share some nice tricks or nice move, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So let's move to the bar. Let's move to the bar. Let's, okay. uh, let's see uh, tips with uh, Jiggy and Shake. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna show you uh, just simple trick with a with, with a jigger. Uh, so, as I say, the important is to keep uh, to keep straight and uh, be symmetric. So, don't move. Just uh, take a jigger with your left hand or your right hand. Uh, so the, the, the move is simple. Uh, imagine your line. Keep your line. So the arms horizontal like that. So you have to 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 move your jigger like that. And after you, after just a little tricks, uh, to just it's a little tricky, but uh, with uh, in the move, you do like that, and after that, uh, so after you after this simple move, so keep your line. After the simple move, just make a two O on your finger, your main finger, this one. Uh, when you do a uh, thing uh, together, it uh, looks like, like that. So, this and after this. And when you're in wrong position, just do that for your good uh, measure if you want. Or you can change for uh, the other side of the gear. Um, it's better because my right hand uh, is doing uh, nothing, it's not good. And to, at the same time, take your take your up and prove. So, try to. Every time do something with the right and left hand in the same time. After practice, so you just have to pull, take uh, take the jig and take the bottle at the same time. So take your jig with these two fingers uh, just on the top. Keep your line to turn like that. So after you you move to follow the line, you just have to make a turn around uh, this finger. So oh, yeah, for example, one, two. Three and four. Uh, the important thing is to uh, adapt your moves to your bar station. Uh, it's really important because you can create something new and uh, it's look like more easy like that. Uh, for example, so uh, jig at the hand, so just move with the left hand, uh, shake on your right, and uh, for example, I can. After, after a beautiful move, you keep your left hand here. So, for example, it's a simple way to use and adapt your cocktail station. Um, what else? Um, also, also, for example, when you when you finish when you finish your drink, uh, you just you just keep. Your, and you can close like that so it's a way uh, to adapt your tricks and uh, you also have to go inside okay, just put some ice inside and that's it Julian, these moves are really really nice looks really nice and uh, I want to Try to do this move, okay? Okay, so come on. You can teach me. Yeah, okay. I can try. I can try to show. One more time. We catch like this. Yep. Yeah, but it's better in in the top. Okay, like this. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Then I move the arm here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So keep your line. Mm -hmm. One. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. One more time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Top. Exactly. Yeah. One. One. And two. And, and and three and three. Okay. Four. So this way, this way, mm -hmm. on the other way. Okay. You one more time. One. Palm. Palm. One. Palm. Two. And finish. And finish. Yeah. Okay. So uh, four step. Nice. On the top. Uh huh. Second one up this way. Mm -hmm. Turn around. Mm -hmm. But don't let jump mm -hmm. uh, the jigger. So it's one, two, and after three. Okay. Four step. Up. Huh? Yeah. Okay. 
without them. Mm -hmm. I understood. You have to you have to keep the contact between your skin and your jig. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice. <laughs> a lot of practice. Yeah. Julian, thank you so much for your tips. Thank you so much for your moves. Thank you so much for what you tell us. Uh, I wish I wish you to open the bar very successfully. Hope. Yes. <laughs> and merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. So thank you so much uh, for taking your time, sharing your experience, and uh, спасибо. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Ребята, ну вот такой вот он, Джулиан, Париж, Копербей, бар. Мне, честно говоря, приятно было с ним общаться и очень интересно было наблюдать за его движением. Действительно, что-то даже новое для себя открыл. Я надеюсь, что вам это тоже полезно. Продолжайте тренироваться, смотрите ролики Bar Skills. А мы отправляемся в следующий бар, где я вас хочу познакомить с еще одним очень скиллованным бартендером. And that's it. 